Dr. John Hinckley. The book, You Can't Expect a Miracle, was released in the US in September. The Australian edition uh, is being released in December, just prior to Christmas. And I was speaking in Tokyo two weeks ago, and a major Japanese publisher was very keen in the early, early New Year to publish the book in Japanese. And here at the World Anti-Aging Conference, I've been meeting with uh, uh, a publisher from China uh, who also sees the excitement in the expected rental concept for people in China. And we've started to have discussions and they'll continue over the next few weeks about the book being translated uh, in the Mandarin and being published in China, which I'm very, very excited about as well. It's interesting, culturally, uh, the Chinese have this great belief in miracles, and uh, the, the person I've been having negotiations with is somebody who... That's okay, someone's here. Go, no, that's okay. So, if, if I said it was published in the US in September, uh -huh. and then everything's just started to explode? Uh-huh. Oh, how's that? Or not mention the date? I don't think you need, I don't think we need to... Okay, um, so, so since it's publication... Yes. Since, uh, since, the, since it's, you can expect a miracle we're published in the United States. Yep. Yeah. It, and then we leave a date free and it makes yeah. it... Yeah. Just makes it more applicable. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... so... So talk about the book being written. Talk about the book being written, talk about the submission for the stories, talk about the way the stories make you feel. Talk about where the inspiration to write the book came from. Yep, right. Talk about your vision of where the book goes. Talk about the next book that's going to come out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tremendous. Mm -hmm. like my great mentor said to me, always not talk about the next book. Mm -hmm. Talk about this one. Because he said, what happens to yourself? I'll wait for the next one. Well, maybe it's more, maybe he's going to talk about what's to come is more that, um, is the call to submit their stories to the website? Yes, and, and that would be it, because then that will, you know, eventually be ruled. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll have so many yeah. phenomenal websites yeah. where we'll have to write another. Yeah, exactly. yeah, be forced to. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is not about the website. This is about the book. This is about. The Thank book. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going into that that note. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm John Hibbert. The book you can't expect a miracle has now been released in the United States and. Uh, now in Australia as well, just come out in Australia. And shortly, uh, having been in Japan speaking about this uh, recently, there's a major Japanese publisher who is looking to publish it in Japanese. And also I just had discussions uh, with a Chinese publisher who's very excited about China. Plus also, uh, in the middle of the year, when the book was uh, in publication in the US, uh, the draft copy of the book the galley proof uh, I was showing to a German publisher and a Belgian and a, a Dutch publisher, and they were all excited that they want to uh, also see the book translated. And consequently, from there, a Czech publisher has spoken about the book. So here we are, an idea started, and the idea came from uh, my great late friend Charles Tremendous Jones, uh, who has sold millions of books himself and ran executive books for many, many years. And he knew I'd been handing out expected miracle cards for so long. He said, John, you have to write a book about the experiences you've had through handing those cards out. He said, I also know that you've, many people have given them to have gone and had them printed and done the same thing. And they're related to you stories that have come about through their handing out expected miracle cards. So I did sit down and put pen to paper and also contacted people I knew who have had fabulous experiences. And the book, You Can't Expect a Miracle, the book to change your life is now a reality. And it's interesting, starting the website a year ago, Expect a Miracle, and having a Reader's Choice Story of the Week, and people posting stories, and seeing outstanding stories being voted by readers. And right now we're having the first anniversary of the website, and it's Reader's Choice Story of the Year. And there's going to be an amazing story. It's, it's like a worldwide search for a great story that's happened. And this will continue year by year. And I can see now that there are so many wonderful stories being posted that subsequent books will just happen. And they'll happen purely because there are so many miracle stories that need to be shared with the world. So people can see that common, everyday people, homeless people, people from all walks of life, 
They could be outstanding sportsmen, they could be homemakers, they could be anybody has incredible things happen that are their personal miracle. So the book is a wonderful book to read. People are giving me feedback that they're so enjoying it. It's a book that they put beside the bed and log over the bed and read a couple of stories. And, and they may not be feeling too good today that it wasn't the best day they've had. And I'll pick the book up, open it up somewhere, and the story they open up at is the story for them for that day. They're finding it's just one of those serendipitous events that happens in their day that makes tomorrow a lot better day. So if you haven't read the book, I suggest you go out and buy the book and read it and then pass it on.